Okay, um, first of all, I think there are some uh, people who just came in today. Uh, I think Pastor Arjun from Pokhara. Pastor Arjun from Pokhara. Welcome. Right now, it is uh, for the pastors from Boca. Pastor Pratha, 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 Sahitya Zani, I'm going to take you to the Dr. Steve is the founder of Greater Grace. Dr. Steve is the founder of Greater Grace. He wrote many doctrine booklets. And these were based on the messages that he preached. And he wrote many doctrine booklets. And these were based on the messages that he preached. And they were very precise teaching. Of the word of God in areas of different areas of our lives. Uh, so uh, we have some people who are new to our church. Uh, so what we're doing is translating it into different languages. And Pastor Shower approached us. The Pastor Shower, I'm just going to and asked us, why don't you translate it in Nepali language as well? Uh, though it is the age of the internet, but many people still have no access to the internet. And the primary way they, uh, they, uh, they have information is through literature. So that's why we want to uh, emphasize this ministry. So the, uh, the Pokhara and Kathmandu Church have been together working on the translation. The Pokhara and Kathmandu Mandali I think the first doctrine book was translated by the Kathmandu Church was Dr. Stevens' Let God Love You. We want to translate more booklets. So after that we translated this uh, second booklet. Using God every morning. And then Pastor Rajan actually uh, inaugurated this, uh, dedicated this uh, at our last uh, Pokhara anniversary, church anniversary. There's a third doctrine book we have just translated. And before we came here on Saturday, we picked it up from the printers on Friday. And uh, the name of this uh, doctrine book is Doctrine of Doctrines. And today we want to dedicate this. And we want to ask uh, Pastor Shalo to pray for this. And these are available now. So we're going to give a big uh, pile of them to Pastor Rajan. And he will help us to distribute it to all our churches. And uh, there are some free copies available for each churches. Okay, Pastor Shadow, please. And when you read it, you will see a Bible verse. And 
then you have your Bible. You turn. So you can read this. And read your Bible at the same time. You know, this is helping me understand my Bible. And God, God, you pray that God will bless, you know, the Holy Spirit will bless you. Because like Pastor Carl taught today, the Holy Spirit is our covering. He's our teacher. And the Holy Spirit wrote this Bible. And when I when I read it, the Spirit will speak to me. And let's pray that we will have uh, 100 different booklets in a Nepali language. And let's pray that there are thousands and thousands of them through the mountains of Nepal. And in uh, uh, somebody's, uh, somebody's home, far away in a mountain, they will have a Bible and also a, a booklet and it can speak to their hearts and help them. And also thank you, Pastor Carl, for your message. Pastor Carl is right out there listening. And we are so thankful for his ministry. And the class that we heard this morning was very useful. And it was very good. Very valuable. And Pastor Carl is doing a great work. Pastor Carl is doing a great work. And we are very thankful. Uh, so let's pray for this. Father, we pray for the literature. For the vision. For Pastor Rajan, Pastor Narj, the uh, pastors we ordained this morning, and all the other pastors, and their families, you give us good material so we can study your word and we can have covering in our life. We need to be covered. In Jesus' name. It's a Christian now, man. Amen. Amen. Uh, say to your neighbor, we need, we need to be covered. I will teach and then ask you to speak to your neighbor and then we will teach again and we will go through these verses. I want to speak about coverings because we heard that this morning and it was so valuable. Coverings. We heard about six of them. 
Let's remember them together. The covering of the Father. Say it with me. The covering of the Son of God. The covering of the Holy Spirit. Then help me. Covering of the Word, wasn't it? The covering of the Word of God. Okay, ask your neighbor, what does that mean? The covering of the Word of God. Okay. What was the fifth one? The fifth covering. Righteousness. Righteousness. We love righteousness. Watch. Is this a straight line? Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Does it lie? When you build a building, you use this, and this does not lie. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yo. Oh. 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 This is an example of righteousness. There is no lie. The law of gravity says this pulls straight down. And there is no lie. It's the same with God. With God there is no lie. He is straight. He is righteous. And this is a covering for us. I don't want to be lied to. I don't want to be misled. I don't want uh, to go the wrong way. I want truth. And when you find truth, it sets you free. When you find truth, it's a blessing. The devil is not a good covering. Because the devil is a liar. <laughs> Your, your building will look like this. You know, the building will be crooked. God will say, yeah. fix it. You, you understand? The devil is a liar. God tells the truth. This is a covering. That's why we come to the church. Because the, church, the Holy Spirit will speak to us. From this word. And the word gives us light. Gives us understanding. You see there is a competition in the world. There is God's way and there is the false way. And you have found the true way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And we found joy. I have been here for two days and I see your joy. 
And we ask Pastor Narch. Are all the churches here in Nepal having so much joy? And he said, generally, yes. We like to sing. We like to rejoice. And we like to hear the word. The truth sets us free. Okay. The sixth covering that the pastor taught us was the pastor teacher. And when I need a teacher, and God gives teachers to the church in Ephesians 4.11, and the Holy Spirit anoints us a good word. Holy Spirit anoints us. So I sense the anointing here. The Holy Spirit is here. And I want to speak about two things in my message. One is about humility, and the other one is about prayer. So first of all, if he, uh, James 4, verse 1. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Can you read that out loud? <laughs> There are wars and fightings amongst people. Not only World War II and other wars, the Korean War, Vietnam War, but wars amongst us. Maybe even wars in our house or wars with families or wars with each other in a certain area. Where do they come from? Where does war come from? Ask your neighbor. Where does it come from? Inside ourselves. Because I am frustrated or angry or lusting. Verse 2. You lost. And you have none. You kill. And desire to have. Sometimes we can even get so angry that we could kill. Or steal. This is from the lust in our own hearts. And yet still not be satisfied. In verse 2. 
You cannot obtain. This life prapta karna sakte na. You fight in war. Kimi yaro chagra aur ladai karte ho. Yet you have not. Kare pani ki madhe pakte na. Because you ask not. Kina pani ki madhe pakte na. Asking. So bad na. Verse three. Tien par. You ask. तिमार मार्ग दस हो। And receive not। तर पाऊं दे ना। Because you ask amiss। इन्हें क्या आपना सुधा भी लास्ट में। I might be asking for the wrong thing। अधिक मैं वास्तव में इन्हें गलत पूरा आरोपों नहीं तिमार से। I might not ask। अधिक मैं वास्तव में सुधा दीना होगा मार्ग दीना। Who do I ask? वो संगम मार्ग सुधा। I ask God। वो परमेश्वर संगम मार्ग सुधा। And I ask God to fill me with the Spirit. And teach me doctrine. And I have now the Holy Spirit as my teacher. And I do not fight in war anymore. I have peace. Peace in my family. Peace in my village. Peace in my heart. Why? It says, verse, verse three. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lusts. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? किन्तु मैं हाथ में सुखा बिलास मरुम में गुड़ाव में करने की पेटी विचारे बांधते सो ये भी विचारी तो ये विचारी नहीं हर हो संसार संग को मित्रता चाहे परमेश्वर को स्वतंत्रता हो बनी कितनी मरुम जान देना Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. इस कारण जो संसार को मित्र होता उसने आपको लाए परमेश्वर को स्वतंत्र बनाऊं सर। We we have coverings. I'm just on a chapter of Haya or Usman. So we are not of the world. This is because we are not of the world. We are of the kingdom of God. I'm a promise of God. Promise of God. Raja ka hum. And we have found peace. So I'm in the Santi Paya ka. And also answered prayer. So I'm in the Uttar Java ko prarna ko Java Paya ka so. God answers prayer. Promise of God. Prarna ko Java dinu sir. But prayer is not like magic. तो ये सब प्रार्थना से निर्वाण जादू जस्ट हो ही ना। Like abracadabra। तो abracadabra ना। Yeah, you know, and then you pull a rabbit out of a hat। तो ये 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 हैड बड़ा तो अपने जब लोग कछुए निकालते हैं। You know, his prayer is not like magic। तो प्रार्थना से निर्वाण जादू जस्ट हो ही ना। Prayer is deep। प्रार्थना से निर्वाण गहरा होता है। Prayer is God। प्रार्थना परमेश्वर। The Holy Spirit। पवित्र आत्मा। And we pray। and in God's timing, we receive many answers. Let me ask you, have you ever asked God for something and He answered you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, he has, He answers. So we are not fighting in our flesh. We are not lusty in our flesh. But we learn to be quiet. Let me say something about quietness. Quietness in, in our hearts. Trust. Worship. This is Proverbs 3, verse 5. And Psalm 46, verse 10. It says, Be still. And know that I am God. I think when you are at home, and you wake up in the morning, you can be quiet before God. And in a very simple prayer, you say, God, help me today. Teach me today. Speak to my heart. In Jesus' name.
Quietness and confidence. This is our strength. You know, two people are over here arguing. And you, you just decide to listen to the Lord. To wait on God. Remember when Moses tried, when he was in Egypt, Moses. He was the leader. And um, he wanted to he wanted to deliver the Jews. And you remember what happened in Exodus chapter two. He got in an argument with some um, Egyptians. There was an Egyptian and a Jew. And, and he got in a fight. And he killed the Egyptian. And buried him in the sand. And then they found the body. And, and Moses left Egypt. For 40 years. So his first work. Was in the flesh. And then the Lord led, led him into the desert. And there he learned to walk with God. He heard, he learned to listen to God. He saw the burning bush. And God said, Moses. He said, here I am. He didn't have a lot to say. But here I am. Then he said this. What is your name? That's fantastic. When you listen, you want to ask God, who are you? One time, somebody called me on the telephone and they were talking for 45 minutes. They were just doing all the talking. I wasn't saying anything. They were just filled with talking. Talking and talking and talking. And I said, Do you want to hear what I have to say? Yes, yes, wait, in a, in a few minutes, let me talk more. Sometimes, that's like our prayer. We are talking to God. You know, a lot of things. I want a house. I want a job. I want a wife. And I want money. And, I want this. and, and, and uh, Moses learned to take your shoes off. The Lord said to him, at the burning bush, take your shoes off. What does that mean? I'll take my shoes off. Right okay. What does this mean? It's like my natural life. My own strength. Be quiet. Take your shoes off. You are standing before God. And worship Him. And say to Him. What is your name? Who are you? And He will tell you. That's what we need. We don't need our will. This is like, this is like my will. I will go where I go. I will decide my decisions. I will live my life. But when we come to God, we take this off. We stand before a holy God. And we learn to listen. And He will say to us, I am that I am. I am the God that is. Now listen, 
the sun was. Here's now. Yeah, so now all years ago. The second. You are second. And it passed. So now you are not that one. Here's now. So all years and now all years ago. And that just passed. So you are not going to stop going. And here's now. Yeah, so all years ago. And that just passed. So all those are big up. Where is God living? Where is God living? Where is God living? He said, I am. He didn't say, I was. He said, I am. Where is God? In respect of time. God is now. That's gone. So where is God? He is in the presence. He is here. He is the God that is. He is the God that is now. He is a ever-present help. He is with us. He is our cover. No notice. Is what about the future? I don't know about the future. But I know God is now. I don't have to live in the past. I don't have to live in the future. I can live in the present. Because this is where God is. He is a present help. He is the God that speaks to us. And he said to Moses, Go back to Egypt. I'm going to use you. And he, Moses, he, 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 he had questions. But, 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 I cannot speak well. I have an excuse. God says no. I am God. And I sent you. And I will be with your mouth. And all of us have excuses. But we wait on God. And God speaks to our hearts. And He leads us in faith. And He went back. And when He went to Pharaoh, He he spoke. And then he went back home. This was One month later. God sent him back. And he spoke. And then he went back home. One month later. He went again. He went nine times. Nine times he went. No part of the way. Because when God sends you, He also gives you the power. When we lose our shoes, and we, we come before the Lord, and He leads us in another way. Before I lost after women, but now I have found freedom. Before I lost it for money. But now I have found God. And He helps me. So I don't live in my flesh. But we live in the Spirit. And the Spirit is our covering. And we have found a new way. And that's because Jesus came. And He said, I am the way. And, and I will show it to you. But where does fighting come from? From our flesh. But learn to be quiet. Learn to control your tongue. 
Some people, their anger is right here in their hearts. And out of their mouths, they are angry. Very fast. They get fast, they get angry fast. But the book of James says, be slow to anger. In James chapter 1. Be swift to hear. To hear. And be slow to anger. I put my anger down in my sock. My anger is in my sock. So when I get angry, it takes time to get it, bring it up. It takes time for me to become angry. Don't be so angry with yourself. Angry with your children. Angry with your wife. Don't be angry with your friends. But learn to be quiet and wise. Wisdom. Get wisdom. Oh, Buddhi. 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 Buddha. Buddhi. Buddha. Buddhi. 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 I am foolish. I am wise. Okay. Go to James chapter 4. And verse 4. Uh, four. We, are, we are not a friend of the world. We are a friend of God. Say that to your neighbor. We are a friend of God. Not a friend of God. There's an interesting word. Have you ever had, have you ever been in love? Has, has any man here been in love with a woman? And a woman in love with a man? When you are in love, you can be like this. You can just talk quietly. And you're really listening to each other. It's very, you're very sensitive. You're listening. The word intimacy in the Hebrew language is two pillows. Two pillows. It's like I'm leaning on a pillow. And, and he's on a pillow. And we are talking. That's the word. For intimacy. The God speaks with a still small voice. He speaks through this book. And we can hear him. The humble will hear. Psalm 34, verse 2. Also love. This is the great blessing. Is love. And Moses. Was a friend of God. 
परमेश्वर का मित्र थी परमेश्वरी And we learned intimacy. Uh, there was a, 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 you know, Mother Teresa. I'm sure you heard of Mother Teresa. That's uh, Mother Teresa. I want to tell you, my last week, Mother Teresa. She was a, a missionary in India. One well, missionary went to India, huh? And um, and somebody asked her. No, because they were not allowed to do it. How do you pray? And she said, "I listen." And then they said, "What does God say?" And she said, "He listens." We are both listening. You see, in quietness. And in love. I'm not saying life is like that all the time. In the Psalms we read that the 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 human beings, the psalmist, is very concerned sometimes. In Psalm 42, God, where are you? How long? How long? You know, my my soul is crying out. In, in Psalm 62. Okay. Verse. Go down, please, to verse six. But God gives more grace. That's the name of our church. More grace. For a greater grace. God gives more grace. For us. And we learn to walk. And also be humble. Verse six. Wherefore he said, God, is this the prophet? The one is coming for a unknown sir. Promise will be command delayed. Be ruled by the unknown sir. But gives grace to the humble. There are number of people who are not worthy. God resists the proud. Promise will be command delayed. Be ruled by the unknown sir. What is pride? Command to kill. Okay. My, my shoes represent my natural life. I am strong. I am proud. I can go where I want to go. I can live my life. I have my feelings, my plans, I have my ideas. And God resists the proud. Okay, so everybody, you take your shoe off, one shoe, and say like this: God resists the proud. Pastor Gary, stand up and do it. God resists the proud. God resists the proud. God resists the proud. कमांडी अर्को परमेश्वर ने अवरोध करता हूँ। कमांडी अर्को परमेश्वर ने अवरोध करता हूँ। परमेश्वर ने विरोध करा। All right, everybody, put your shoe up in the air. दस माथे से उतार लो स्टार्ट नो जुता है ना? What is what is it? Here we go. Here we go. अब तो अब तो माथे उतार। Yes. Hey, hey, what did what did uh, God say to Moses? He said, Take your, yeah, what did he say? 
Take your shoes off. You're standing on holy ground. I resist the proud. When you take your shoes off, you're on holy ground. Now you're able to listen to God. And be quiet. And humble yourself. God does not have to hear your arguments. You can give them and your complaints and we can give them and he understands our pain and he understands our troubles but I'm also trying to say something it is verse 6 but he gives grace unto the humble submit yourselves therefore to God would you say that out loud? Submate yourself to God. Submit your ideas to God. Did I say ideas? Yeah. Sum Submit your personality. So by Abnu Bektito Sumpano was. Submit your lust, lust to God. So by Abnu Abilasa Sumpano was. Submit your way to God. Abnu Mando or Formesola Sumpano was. Submit your heart to God. Give him your pain. Give him your trouble. Give him your worries. Give him your children. Say that one. Give him your house. Your motorcycle. Your bicycle. Submit yourself to God. Give him your, your garden. Your food. Give it to God. Submit your life to God. Give him your money. Your future. Give him your life. Trust in God. He gives grace to the humble. We humble ourselves. And we trust him. In our lives. Look at Pastor Carl. He has he how humble he must be. How broken he is. And how much joy he has. He is a good example. I don't think I could do that. I don't know. It's the grace of God. He is doing it. And it is the grace of God. And it is our blessing. He is a friend of God. Not a friend of the world. You know, this is a friend of the world. What does it mean, the world? What does that mean? The world. The world crucified Christ. The world is in darkness. The world has an, its own wisdom. And it's an enemy of God. The world has another philosophy. The world has another spirit. And the leader of the world is the devil. But we have taken our shoes off and we are listening and trusting and he is giving us more grace.
verse 7. Start button. Resist the devil. Satan ka samanagara. And he will flee from you. Let's say that verse to our neighbor. Resist the devil. The devil. Satan. He. The devil. Satan. You know. We just resist him. I mean, just And he runs away. It's like a dog, maybe, in the street. There's a dog in the street. And, and, you're, <laughs> and the dog just... <laughs> and he goes away. The devil does not really have much power. We have more power. Pharaoh doesn't have that much power. When Moses said to Pharaoh, Moses went away, and Pharaoh was afraid. And then the curse came. And then another curse. And Pharaoh is getting more afraid. And it is like that with the people of God. We are God's people. And we have greater power. And the devil will flee. I mean, I mean, I mean, he's gone. He tempted Jesus for 40 days. And Jesus just was quiet with the Father in the Spirit. He quoted the Bible and the Satan fled. He was gone. And he said, I'll go back again later. But I tried for 40 days. But I didn't have the power. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We have greater grace. We have greater power. We have truth. This is not a lie. We have this. We have truth. And that truth builds us up. We have authority. And Satan runs. You know, in school, the teacher said two plus two is four. Two plus two is four. And the devil says it's five. <laughs> it's five. Two plus two is five. <laughs> the truth has a way. <laughs> truth has a way of like surfacing. Truth, truth has a way of being right. And it affects us. When things are right. And we are right. And the truth is there. And we have authority. And the lie has to go away. You are silly. Two plus two is five. Three plus three is five. That's silly. That's foolish. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't care about you. And this is what's happened in our lives. We have found it. We love it. We enjoy it. And we walk in it. So he will flee. The last verse is verse 8. Draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to God. I met this family. 
मैं एट परिवार भेटे थे तीन दिन देखि वहाँ यहाँ यात्रा कर आज परिवार प्लीज तब एक तीन दिन तब वहाँ यात्रा कर You know, if you take one step to God, God takes two steps to you. If you are far away from God, just just look to Him. Even Jonah in the fish, he turned himself to God. And God spoke to the fish. And the fish went. Fish went up. The fish went up. Up. And then, he, Jonah went out of the fish. परमेश्वर को Draw near to God. Permission to Nazik ma aro. How? Basari. In our heart. Hamro rida yena. By being quiet. Basanta bhayera. By prayer. Prarthana sat. By meditation. Manan dwara. By memorizing this book. You you Bible like one chhaga dena. If we can memorize the book. Yadi ami isla yad dwara sabse bani. And read it again and again. Baram bar baram bar porsho bani. It will speak to our hearts. You hamro rida ma baat dwara. I have been reading this book uh, for forty. Uh, Five years. Forty years. Boss, I think my Bible is reading it. This is the greatest book. You say the authentic, swasti sari. It never ends. You buy the book, she did it. It's eternal. You are not a sinner. This book. You get up. Will keep you from sin. You pack one of that. It will speak to you in the morning. You be here to pay some bills. It will guide you in your difficulties. You to pay the affair. I say to pay the affair. It will comfort you. Yes, to pay the light. It will help you with your family. तो तो परिवार में सहायता कर सकता है। It will lead you in prayer। इस तो तो पहले प्रार्थना में डोरे आऊँ सकता है। It will be your guide। रियो से तो पहले को मार्ग दर्शन करेगा। It will guide you to death। तो ये सिर्फ इतना संग पुरे आऊँ सकता है। I met the greatest Christians that are so prepared for death। मतलब तेरे इस तरफ विश्वास यारों देखे कुछ जो मिलती को दिखती अत्यंत तो याद है। And we have many examples। तो हमी Greatly comforted. Because this book prepares you for every trial. Every difficulty. Draw near to God. And He draws near to you. Cleanse your hands. Purify your hearts. And do not be double-minded. Okay, Pastor. Say to us, praise the Lord. Permission. Let's say, don't be double. Do it till the end. Do it till the end. Double minded. What does that mean? Do it till the end. What does that mean? One day I want God. One day I want God. The next day 
Thank you so much. One day I studied the Bible. It is next year. I don't study the Bible. One time year I go to the church. The next year I don't go to the church. You know, what I decide this way and then later I decide this way. We are double minded. We have a divided heart. We have one, I tell the Christians, you cannot smoke marijuana and follow Jesus at the same time. You are double-minded. You cannot live in sin and follow Jesus at the same time. You are double-minded. But humble yourself and trust in Him. Learn to be quiet. Learn to pray. Learn to sing. Learn to love each other. Learn to go to church. Learn to read the Bible. Learn to share your faith. Be a soul winner. Learn to love people. Forgive people. And do not judge people. God is with you. Say this with me. God is with you. Parmesur Masanga Hunsa. 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 Parmes